ओम ज्ञान ज्ञानांजन शलाखय चक्षुर श्री चैतन्य मुनो भीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूपा कदा मह्यम ददा स्वपदातिक वंदेहम श्री गुरो श्री उक्ता पद कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवांश श्री रूप सागर जात सहगण रघुनाथ तम तम सजीव साधवैत साधदूत परिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पदा सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखा हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विश्वभानुसुदे देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिये वाशा कल्प दुर्व्यश कृपा सिंधु वैव चितावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद दर्शयत वैदा दर्शिवासादि गौरभक्त हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो वेलकम एवरीवन टू आईबीसी शिक्षा विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम भगवद गीता चैप्टर थर्टीन वेर वी एट स्टॉप एंड टुडे विल डू स्टार्ट विल रेज्यूम फ्रॉम टेक्स्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी एट okay so uh, yesterday we discussed that we should see the super soul everywhere right uh, there was some text on it we just recap a little bit so that we understand so you know some perceive the super soul by meditation by cultivation of knowledge by others working without fruitive desires and then there are those who perceive the super soul from hearing from others means authorities means spiritual master okay so now what happens when a, when he perceives the super soul what what is really important like um, what is the advantage of doing all this perceiving the super soul and all that's what we will discuss hmm Uh, let's get into text number 28 one who sees the super soul accompanying the individual soul in all bodies and who understands that neither the soul nor the super soul within the destructible bodies ever destroyed actually sees so he gets the real uh, vision so one vision is through our eyes and another vision is through shastras shastra chakshu so when he knows that in every body there is super soul and then there is in every body there is individual soul then he actually sees so let's say somebody sees there is only individual soul in in different different bodies then what he is missing yes what he is missing if he just sees the individual soul in everyone <laughs> then it is uh, one shloka is there no prabhu pandita samadarshana yeah pandita that context yes so yeah pandita sarva darshana that's a very nice shloka uh, i will just um, for, for translation pandita sarva darshana pandit let's see that's in which chapter comes up pand oops <laughs> ओके ओके वन हु सीज अ डॉग 
elephant like that right <laughs> okay hmm here this was vidya vinaya sampanne brahmane kavi hastini suni chaiva so pakecha pandita sarvadarshina i think fifth chapter maybe fifth fifth hmm. Yeah, a humble sage by virtue of knowledge sees with equal vision a learned gentle brahmana a cow elephant um dog and a dog eater there is some detail to this uh, okay see here the same same things explain that when we see as pandita right we see both the soul and the super soul together hmm we see both of them that is the real meaning of pandita and the same thing we are reading here also in the uh, 28th verse so my my question to you is if he sees only one of it individual soul then what is he missing he is definitely missing the super soul right are you there that's probably yeah that's probably yeah so what is the problem with that if he just sees that i see atma everywhere in every body he sees that the living entity is there but he doesn't see super soul with it what is the problem in yeah. that understanding yeah, everybody is different and everybody will act uh, in um, own way okay okay that is one understanding but what if he misses the super soul also to see in the body god is missing no prabhu ji if yes. uh, there is no control uh... yeah there is no control so sometimes you know scientists will find that they may have this kind of philosophy that they will respect individually but when it comes to god they'll say no god is not required so they may act like a very good philosopher but actually it is a very incomplete understanding god is there within every being every atom and living entity is also there and the living entity is and the super soul are same in quality but not in quantity when we get that kind of understanding then we actually see hmm? anyone who by good association can see three things combined together the body the proprietor of the body or the individual soul and the friend of the individual soul is actually in knowledge unless one has association of three knowers of the spirit of the spiritual subject one cannot see these three things those who do not have such association are ignorant okay three things he should see the body the proprietor body or the individual soul and the friend of the individual soul that is super soul three things he should see not just one thing see when one sees the body then one has materialistic idea only this is a different body that is a different body there is no there is just sees the body male body female body animal body then he may harm also because he he says okay they are just bodies right it is just bag of chemicals and when they see okay there is something within the body which is anti matter then they may neglect the god then they may say okay okay this anti matter is there and you know when one dies all the anti matter merges into the whole anti matter and then again it manifest on its own they may they may crank out this you know uh, new new philosophy where god is not required just the consciousness is able to convert and big and make bodies and you know uh revolve in this world right but when god is involved then we understand god made it and god is putting krishna is putting the individual soul in the body according to karma desire and everything 
that is full understanding according to bhavadi even uh, we can understand like this also can happen right if god is not there the plants trees everything used to grow depends on season and uh, gives different fruits see technically technically we don't see god everything is growing without without let's say you know people really understanding that there is god behind the scene agreed yeah yeah see now we are discussing there is god there is krishna but there are many people who are not discussing it but they are able to see trees are growing fruits are coming this is happening that is happening right yeah planets are moving and all so technically they don't see the they just don't see the supreme lord yeah right so Correct. so they can conclude now that there is no god they are very strong sense now to conclude but how that. they how it is growing uh, what uh, logic they will tell they 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 are already giving so many science books now how it is growing the sunlight is coming photosynthesis is happening this is happening that is happening how the rain happens they are giving okay. uh, they are, yeah they are giving all kinds of explanation they are giving the same explanation that the vedas give how the rain happens the sun is there evaporates the water there is low pressure high pressure high pressure moves to low pressure takes the cloud over there and then it hits the it hits the hills and then water flows it condenses into rain okay now where is god in this whole picture but sun should uh, how sun emerge uh, there is a nuclear fusion is happening nuclear fusion is happening you know atom is getting destroyed and from that tremendous energy is coming out and that's how it is it is just continuing <laughs> okay so how how do you how do you convince but sun also we will pray no prabhu ji ha ha sorry sun also we will pray no surya namaskar we will do right i see there are many people who don't pray and they are also healthy okay yeah there are atheists who go to doctors and all that and they become healthy and they are good and all that everything is going on for them how will you still explain that god is needed and god is there first god is there then he is needed <laughs> he is he is doing the whole thing how will you explain then it is difficult to propose no it is not difficult it is very simple the only thing is we need to understand how to present it okay so oh. so the thing is um you know uh, see so many paintings are there right when we look at the painting we don't say it came on its own someone drew it right we know that there is a painter right yeah correct correct yeah so in this universe in this on this earth we are seeing so many beautiful beautiful things so there has to be some painter right there has to be some painter it's not coming on its own okay when we see traffic lights we see it going red orange green but it is not happening automatically there is a whole traffic system behind it there are traffic police and then there is a traffic software running and then there are controllers of the traffic software right similarly if the if the if the laws are working there has to be a law maker okay 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 prabhu ji yeah so this is the argument if laws are there then there has to be law maker if the painting is there there has to be painter it doesn't come on its own and these and this is the point that even scientists also know so one of the scientists he told you know they when they were talking about this big bang theory so called theory or speculation what is the big bang theory big bang speculation that all uh, yeah, there was a bomb spot long there was a uh, 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 um what Uh, there was explosion an explosion of a bomb and, uh, all planets divided yeah there was uh, an explosion of a bomb 
and then all the planets and everything is coming up and the whole universe is getting expanded this is how they are explaining right correct correct yeah so then you know the one of the scientists who was a nobel winner he said very nice thing he said okay if you if you talk about this bomb theory hmm, big blast theory then let's let's do one thing let's place the various parts of the boeing aeroplane various parts the tires the wings the electronics the seat and let's place it in a in a in a in a football field and let there come a hurricane a wind strong wind and after like few days or few hours or whatever you know we should see that a boeing aeroplane is now sitting in that place is that possible that means uh, it organized way if it is happening yeah. uh... this is what big bang also says right that yeah. there was a blast and now things are organizing on its own <laughs> correct so he his his point is all the same thing now okay fine then keep all the parts in the field and let's see in a wind it comes and then you know we are able to see that okay so what is the what are they saying is about a chance theory this is called chance theory chance theory means chance by theory. chance it happened but actually nothing happens by chance correct correct nothing happens by chance in our full experience there nothing happens by chance there is a intelligent being even even after everything now from bhagavad gita perspective how is this answered from bhagavad gita perspective how is this answer krishna in the ninth chapter he says this thing मत्तह परतराम नान्यत किंचित अस्ति धनंजया मयि सर्वम इदम प्रोतम सूत्रे मणि गण एव एव व्हाट इज सेइंग ओ कॉन्करर ऑफ वेल्थ देयर इज नो थ्रू सुपीरियर टू मी एवरीथिंग रेस्ट अपॉन मी एज पर्ल्स आर स्ट्रंग ऑन अ थ्रेड एज पर्ल्स आर स्ट्रंग ऑन अ थ्रेड सो इफ वी लुक एट अ पिक्चर ऑफ अ पर्ल नेकलेस what what you don't see in this pearl necklace thread prabhu ji thread yeah but we know that a thread is the one that is holding everything yeah so technically Even speaking one movie came prabhu ji what what in telugu one movie came in telugu so regarding this uh, shloka uh, one movie came uh, in that uh, anupam kher uh, was explaining about uh, the krishna no no that is fine because krishna says in bhagavad gita he says yeah now the point is the thread is not seen right yes yes so why krishna gives this example why he says i am the thread you know do you do you understand if somebody is saying i am the thread indirectly he is meaning something indirectly he is meaning that i will remain invisible in this world okay krishna never says i am you know i am the external thing that is holding everything no he says i am the internal force behind everything so technically speaking he uh, he, he is hiding himself behind this whole you know just like a thread is hiding in the necklace similarly krishna is also hiding we, we don't actually see him okay so that's the reason you know atheists also have a upper hand when they argue because in reality krishna is also hiding so now <laughs> now how to bring krishna out <laughs> right you understand the issue no 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 one second no, the, the, the point is what is krishna saying i am the thread in the pearl pearl necklace i am yes, just sir. like there is a thread in the pearl necklace i am like that okay so basically the thread will always remain hidden yes yes in correct in all pearl necklaces you may pick up all all of them you may pick up the thread will always be hidden okay now krishna is saying i am the thread okay 
so the thread is hidden so krishna is also hidden ki nahi yeah correct correct yeah so therefore uh, you know when it is say, this one sorry seven which slok i is seven i think 9.7 9.7 uh, okay let me check is it 7.9 no ah, 7.9 7.9 okay so so my my question to you is if krishna is using this example to explain himself basically if the thread is going to be hidden he is indirectly saying i am also going to be hidden yes sir and therefore he starts saying i am the taste of water i am the light of the sun i am the moon i am syllable om in the vedic mantras i am sound in the ether ability in man interestingly he doesn't say i am the man he says i am the ability in the man okay if somebody does anything we glorify the man we never glorify the ability okay correct but from bhagavad gita perspective we know that the ability came to that man because of krishna, krishna. so if tendulkar is hitting centuries after century that ability is coming from whom krishna yeah but who but who is getting glorified who is getting the bharat ratna sachin ha uh... yeah, sachin tendulkar <laughs> is getting it okay okay so so krishna will remain hidden in this world he is clearly saying i am going to be hidden in this world just like a thread in a pearl string is going to be hidden i am i am going to be hidden so now when atheists say where is your god where is your god show me show me right hiranyakashipu also said the same thing to prahlad where is your god where is your god show me is he in this pillar so krishna yeah. is going to remain krishna is going to remain hidden so that's why you know sometimes the atheistic arguments are going to have a upper hand because our god wants to remain hidden and the atheistic people they get the opportunity to say see we cannot see him so he is not there you know we may give argument okay the painter the painting the law the law maker right we may give all kinds of arguments but but this one argument will never be able to you know prove it that he can be seen why because krishna himself says i am i won't be seen but in bhagavad gita he he says that i will be seen only by few people who are those can you tell me where krishna will be seen who who can actually see krishna in bhagavad gita also krishna says yeah he says devotees yes good um let's say there is in this verse in this chapter only the verse will come but uh, there are many many verses i will see if in this chapter uh, that verse comes on out kamastra yo yo maam tanu bhakta shraddhaya okay no okay amta bhakta te Bum, bum, bum. See, he says, you know, unintelligent people do not know perfectly. Think that I, the supreme person of God, and Krishna was impersonal before, and now assumed this is a personality. So they don't know. They don't know Krishna. Na ham. I see Krishna very says, I I never manifest to the foolish and intelligent. I'm I'm covered. Krishna is saying I'm covered. <laughs> if something is if he himself is covering how to bring him out right see me no one knows no one knows me okay uh hmm okay ha uh, here he says sadi bhuta din bhuta din devam sevyam ma सादी यज्ञम स विदु प्रायण काले स माम ते विदुर युक्त चेतस ओ एक्चुअली ही सेस दिस वन सो बेसिकली दोस हु आर डिवोटीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड विल बी एबल टू सी ही सेस इन मेनी मेनी वर्सेस आई विल आई विल शो यू वन वर्स व्हिच इज माय फेवरेट लेट्स पुट दिस ऑफ इन द 15 चैप्टर ही सेस आम actually this is not the verse bhakta maam abhi janati that is the verse bhakta maam abhi janati i may be 
ओके भक्त्या माम अभिजानाति भक्त्या माम अभिजान या दिस वन हाँ दिस वन फिफ्टी फाइव आई थिंक इट इस ने एटीन चैप्टर या एटीन 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 पॉइंट फिफ्टी फाइव इज व्हाट द वर्स इज भक्त्या माम अभिजानाति यावन यश चश्मी तत्वतः ततो माम तत्वा न्यात्वा विषते तत अनंतरम only one, one who can understand me as i am as the supreme person god only by devotion service see he clearly uses the word bhakti bhakti clearly means devotion devotional service right That's abhi sense. abhi janati abhi janati means you will know janoge in hindi we say right janoge yes yes janoge ha tatva means truth so who will understand that only a bhakta only a bhakta maam means me bhakta will understand me in full truth very simple right that's it yeah. so so only a bhakta can understand and how to become a bhakta from our yesterday discussion how to become a bhakta follow four regulative principles and the chanting uh, and do service sir. What? What? How did you become a bhakta? Did you start following four regulative principles? No, you did something before that. In this verse, the hint is there. How to become a bhakta? We discussed this yesterday. How did the bull become bhakta? Yesterday you heard the story of the bull, right? Yes, sir. He he did service to Madhvacharya, but there is a special service he did, not just taking the load. But he did something special, special than that. What he did? Do you remember? No problem. What he did with his ears? Ears. Ah, so what is that called? Hearing. Hearing. Yes. So the thing is, we become a devotee only by hearing. and we continue to remain a devotee by hearing and we become pure devotee again by hearing only okay <laughs> so this hearing is such a important thing it takes it brings us into bhakti it stays us into bhakti and it makes us advance in bhakti to higher levels everything happens by this one activity hearing and this is the first thing that pralad mara says right in now uh, nine uh, ृत तप्त जीवन इट कम्स इन या टेन थर्टी वन नाइन ओके इट्स गेटिंग ट्रांसलेटेड इन दिस इज द वर्स बाय गोपीस तव कथा तप्त जीवन कविदित कलम सापहम श्रवण मंगल श्रीमदातृणी मे भुवि ग्रंथिये भूरीदा जना द नेक्टर ऑफ योर वर्ड्स एंड डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ योर एक्टिविटीज आर लाइफ एंड सोल ऑफ दोज सफरिंग इन द मटीर वर्ल्ड these narrations transmitted by learned sages eradicates one sinful reaction and bestows good fortune upon them whoever hears them these narrations are broadcast all over the world and are filled with spiritual power certainly those who spread the message of godhead are the most munificent so the gopis the highest devotees they are telling that you have to hear about this krishna's past time and you have to distribute it this is the highest service and this is the hearing service you know what it will do it is transmitted by learned line it will eradicate all sins and bestow great fortune for whoever hears them 
okay 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 bro so yeah so yeah so hearing is so Very important detailed, uh, what even uh, the scripting wise uh, when you sing it is very beautiful abhi very listening uh, what i can do yeah yeah it, this is sung in a particular uh, tune that's the way i have sung okay a uh, very yeah. famous verse 10 uh, 10 31 9 10 31 9 10 31 9 hmm. okay mm. okay we spent a lot of time <laughs> but it's a very important concept okay after destruction of body destruction of body both the soul and the super soul exist and they go eternally in various moving and non moving forms um okay let's let's move to towards number 29 one who sees a super soul equally present everywhere in every living being does not degrade himself by mind thus he approaches the transcendental destination so another thing what happens when he sees super soul he does not degrade himself by his mind what is the degradation that is that it has been talked in this verse what kind of degradation happens if one doesn't see the super soul in everyone's heart let's say you 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 see a cockroach in your house you know someone sees a cockroach in the house now if he sees that there is no super soul in that cockroach what he will do to that cockroach kill kill uh, kill it right cockroach. Yes. But if he sees, if a if a devotee sees the cockroach in his home, now what he will do? Should he kill he or will, what? He will take that to uh, outside and he will leave. Throw it. Yes. Now you tell me why a devotee acts like this? Because uh, life uh, is given by God or K- Krishna Himself, so he don't want to intervene in uh, God's. Uh, and in that body there is super soul also na even though it is a cockroach in that body there is a super soul so when you hit it yes. you are it's like hitting the super soul na yes sir yes, correct so the degradation is that we may commit violence against other people unnecessary violence yes so that is the degradation that is talked about uh, can you read this uh, section Oh, yes, yeah, if one understands that supreme is situated in his paramatma manifestation everywhere that is if one can see the presence of supreme personality of god in every living thing he does not degrade himself by destructive mentality he therefore gradually advances to the spiritual world the mind is generally addicted to the sense gratifying process but when the mind turns to super soul one becomes advanced in a spiritual understanding yes so destructive mentality is not there one will see that everything has to be properly utilized no wastage right okay see the children they don't see super soul in everything na so they may throw things and you know they may destroy things right yes yes then we will say hey, there is god in this this is sacred you should not do this then they will listen but uh, i have one question prabhu ji mm. in home for example in night uh, mosquitoes are beating biting you then uh, it disturbs your sleep at the time uh, you will feel, get angry and you will kill the mosquitoes no prabhu ji ah uh. so so the thing is you know uh, the way it was handled in the vedic literature is na in the vedic times or in the olden times is that they used to use a net mosquito net to sleep in or they used to burn some leaves neem leaves or something by which the mosquitoes would not die but they would run away okay yeah in today's world we have created things by which they die right okay yeah okay yeah so <laughs> so
so this is that that has some issues but the way we have uh, if if we if we are not able to get a mosquito net or something then we have to use those things because the mosquitoes are attacking you and then you can defend it <laughs> yes, okay yes. you can defend yourself right yes 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 probably yeah but if given a chance then they live we also live right using yes, a mosquito net or something hmm okay okay uh, one who can see that all activities are performed by the body which is created by the material nature and sees that a self does nothing actually sees now we discuss this a lot the self doesn't do anything who dig the excavator machine is doing all the work and the operator is simply just pressing a button so technically the operator is doing nothing right It follows the company's uh, order properly. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but the point is, is the soul doing really a big thing? Soul no, is doing a big thing. Huh? I mean, is 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 he really digging? No, right? He's just he's just pressing one button. So the amount yes, of yes. energy he is spending is very less. The actual work right. is done by the machine, right? Yes, yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So your machine is considered as body, a proposition. Yes. Yes. So when we understand that the body is doing all these activities and the self is not doing much, technically is doing nothing, then we actually see. Then we really know that why things are. Uh, I mean, then we become detached. And then if we achieve something in life, what we will say? The ability that is. in me came from krishna right that's it yeah see this is the benefit of seeing super soul everywhere and the soul and the body you know differently and then understanding that the body is doing the work the soul is not doing much or let's say equal to nothing this body is made of material nature but under the direction of the super soul and whatever activities are going on in respect to one's body is not his doing whatever one is supposed to do either for happiness or distress one is forced to do because of the bodily bodily constitution the self however is outside all these bodily activities the this body is given according to our past desires to fulfill desires one is given the body with which he acts accordingly practically speaking the body is a machine designed by the supreme lord to fulfill desires because of the desires one is put into difficult circumstances to suffer or to enjoy thus the transcendental vision of the living entity when developed uh, makes one separate from the bodily activity so when one gets this transcendental vision he can separate himself from the bodily activity one who has such a vision is actually the seer now i'll give you another example you have seen children playing video game right yeah yeah yes prabhu and if they win in that video game how they react nicely even uh, during our childhood also we played prabhu yeah now suppose today you go and play that same video game and suppose instead yeah. of winning you lose how is your reaction a yeah, little bad only not uh, very good sometimes uh, if more uh, more than that anything is there we will feel ah, it's okay we will feel now suppose you win in it how will be your reaction no we will feel happy for a little moment that's all so is it the same happiness that the child is getting when they win no 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 no, no. then what it will be let's say on a 10 a scale of 10 what will be your happiness and what is the child's happiness after winning the video game child happiness is uh, 10 10 and what will be your happiness then maybe 4 or 5 4 okay so your will be less why 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 you think it will be less because uh, already i have played many times so my okay, happiness yeah, will be less okay yeah that is less. one reason any other reason Let's say you play a new game and you win in it. Then it will be more. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, did you really win in that game? That is the question I am trying to ask. Really win means uh, super soul is guiding us to. No, the the, the thing is win. in the video game it is just a screen. 
and in that screen is moving and that says win or lose right yes sir as a person you really have nothing to do with the winning and losing in that game yeah so technically speaking even if you lose you are not going to cry like the child because yes, you sir. know because you know what that the machine is only playing the game i just press one two buttons that's it correct correct so this is what this line is saying that he sees that the body is doing the work and he is just pressing few buttons and the rest of the thing the body is only doing so if anything mm -hmm. happens like a success or a failure it is for the body he has nothing to do with it just like in a game a success and a failure has nothing to do with the player right yes yes yeah it is only in the software the yes, software yes. will increment the points and say okay you have this point in that let's say you you get you know 80000 points and then you can buy okay. a ferrari car in that software do you really buy a ferrari car in that no right no no that is not real yeah so this is the thing when you become the actual seer you can separate reality now you understand yes sir yeah you can separate reality you can you can then understand okay i know i i i need not be after this thing so much because this is not real you know or let's say this is temporary this is the best best understanding everything is temporary this this is what we get okay what happens when we understand this thing when a sensible man ceases to see different identities due to different material bodies and he sees how he, uh, living beings are expanded everywhere he attains to brahman conception now this is called as brahman conception to see the super soul and the soul everywhere in this brahman's conception right one becomes peaceful then if he sees his friend and if he sees his foe enemy how will he see them he will just see them as another super another soul and another soul right he is not going to see them this is my enemy this is my friend right yes prabhuja yeah this is called equilibrium so just by the philosophy of the soul super soul and the body you can get to this brahman conception where you can see things equally now this is where your verse comes vidya vinaya sampanne brahmani gavi hastini suni chaiva so pakaycha pandita sarva darshana this is called a pandita okay this is where your verse comes and in the purport prabhupada says this verse You, you can you read this uh, you read this yes, yeah. yeah just 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 uh, yeah when one can see that various bodies of living entities arise due to different desires of individual soul and do not actually belongs to the soul itself one actually sees in material conception of life we find someone a demigod someone a human being dog cat etc this is material vision not actual vision this material uh, differentiation differentiation is due to material conception of life after the destruction of material body spirit soul is one the spirit soul due to contact with material nature gets different types of bodies when one can see this Yeah, he attains spiritual vision, thus being freed from differentiations like man, animal, big, low, etc. One becomes purified in his consciousness and able to develop Krishna consciousness in his spiritual identity. How he then sees things will be explained in the next verse. Okay, so so technically, you know. Uh... he attains this spiritual vision and he is not differentiating on the external like man woman animal big low he is he is becoming a pandita samadarshina okay okay now how he sees this those with vision of eternity can see that the imperishable soul is transcendental so basically he sees souls everywhere okay he doesn't see the external he sees that a soul is transcendental eternal beyond the modes of material nature 
despite being contact with the material body wo oh, arjuna the soul neither does anything nor is entangled this is his vision his vision is what of itin and etern eternity hmm okay okay so then he becomes he doesn't remain afraid right okay he becomes fearless okay and then uh, he becomes samad samad samadarshina he doesn't see people as their friend and foe he treats them equally this is the power okay. of this kind of vision and a living entity appears to be born because of the birth of his material body but actually the living entity is eternal he is he is not born in spite of being situated in a material body he is transcendent eternal thus he cannot be destroyed by nature he is full of bliss he does not engage himself in any material activities therefore the activities performed due to his contact with material bodies do not entangle him so then the activities that this body is performing he doesn't get get entangled in them he can he can do his activities without getting entangled in them just like he may play the video game but he is not going to get carried away by the by the video game you understand this thing do you understand entangled uh, means uh, entangled means he, he gets carried away but uh, it's see what happens is thing. what happens is you know we we see in children let's take the same example children playing video game if they win they go around everywhere saying i won i won i got these many points i got three stars four stars you know i have so many points that i can buy this car and that car and that plane okay the child is getting carried away the next time he plays and he loses then the child will cry mummy i lost in that game mummy i lost it mummy i lost it i lost all my points and sometimes you know parents come and stop him to play so much playing not so much required you have to do studies and then some parents really you know become very angry they go and break his playing station <laughs> right then what happens to the child then what happens to the child he will uh, play in other friends house or something no no he at first what he will do he will just accept it kya yeah, okay you broke he my playstation try. he will uh, yeah he will make broke. a big show there he may yes, even yes, hit yes. the parent also right yes, yes yes yeah so this is called entangling the child is getting entangled in a play where everything is virtual nothing really comes out of it he is okay. not winning at all in that game neither he is losing in that game it is all in the software if we reset the software everything will become zero okay so entangling means you entangle you you tangle yourself basically you make a web around you and then get caught in it such that you can't come out of it it's it's provision yeah right. but a but a controlled person who will he play this video game he will play but he won't get carried away with the loss and win okay okay all the problem yeah so this is what this um this understanding you know that is there in this chapter gives us it gives us this kind of understanding okay you are in this world you are going to work in this world you are going to do this that have family and all that all that you have to do work uh, you will get a position so much wealth and all that but behind the scene because the person has this kind of vision he won't become too attached to all these things indeed okay, he will not, develop but zero we attachment we should not create attachment yeah entangle means you you become attached such attachment okay. is that that the attachments okay okay where well, i'll tell you a very nice story once a king you know asked a rishi there was a rishi i don't remember his name he asked you know how to de, de, how to how to you know uh, break this entanglement of of being attached to this material world so then the rishi got up and he started running and the king also started running after him 
and the rishi went to a tree and it hugged him and he hugged the tree and he said leave me leave me leave me then the king said what are you doing the tree has not caught you you have caught yourself around the tree huh? you have hugged him you leave him then the rishi muni said the same thing it is not that we are it, it is it is not that we cannot come out of this we ourselves have entangled in this web in this attachment if you develop little bit de detachment detachment then you can easily come out of it how to develop this de detachment by seeing the soul the super soul and the body that is seeing that the soul is eternal the super soul is the is the permitter the owner and the body is doing the work the major work is doing but is done by the body under the permission of the super soul and the soul which you are are doing nothing are doing very less and when you understand okay i am just doing with oh less the body is only doing so why should i get entangled in all of it some other sin of you will come right you can see things equally why because one day body is going to end if body is going to end all the possessions of the body everything will remain here and if suppose somebody is too attached to that then they will beg they'll say oh let me live one year maybe two years maybe few days maybe few more months right but one who is not entangled he knows that he is eternal and therefore at the time of death also he will be very um dhira satran muhyate he will be dhira he will be wise person dhira means one who cannot be shaken so he won't be shaken even in the time of death this is the power of the having this kind of knowledge any questions yeah no questions professor okay 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 let's see Three more verses. I want to finish this today. Uh, okay. Did we finish this? Yeah, we finished this. Thirty-three, right? The sky, due to its subtle nature, does not mix with anything. Although it is all-pervading, similarly, the soul situated in the Brahman region does not mix with the body, although situated in that body. So, does he become the body? No. He still remains the separate. He still remains spiritual, and the body is material. At the time of that, the body is destroyed. the soul is the soul is not destroyed na hanyate hanyamane sharire okay o son of bharata as a sun alone illuminates all this universe so the living entity one within the body illuminate the entire body by consciousness so sun is illuminating all the universe by its light similarly the whole body has the consciousness the awareness because the soul is within the body that is the symptom of the living entity and what is the symptom of life consciousness right it is conscious a dead body is not at all conscious but a living body is conscious the super soul is conscious of all the bodies but the living entity is only conscious of individual body so that is also another understanding we get those who see with the eyes of knowledge the difference between the body and the knower of the body and can also understand the process of liberation from the bondage of material world attain to the supreme goal so now what are the three things what is the three things in this knowledge first is there is a difference between body and the knower the body and the soul and the body and the super soul and the super soul and the soul all these three differences when we know then we can understand the process of liberation from the bondage in the material world right the purport of this chapter is that one should know the distinction between body the owner of the body and the super soul one should recognize that the process of liberation as described in verses 8 to 12 then one can go on to the supreme destination so let's go to 8 to 12 and uh, let's let's see what what uh, 8 to 12 
okay yeah this is the process 8 to 12 approaching a spiritual master humbly serving him pridelessness violence vol vol tolerance simplicity knowing the truth birth age old age disease being detached having devotion to krishna aspiring to live in solitary place determination for spiritual life free from entanglements uh, husband uh, with family and possessions and being even mindedness in such pleasant unpleasant situation when one follows this process this is the process of liberation how to become liberated though that is the process okay a faithful person should at first have some good association to hear of god so like i said you know one should hear it from devotees so this is meant for exactly for us if one accepts a spiritual master so we should hear from spiritual master one can learn to distinguish matter and spirit and that becomes a stepping stone for further realization a spiritual master by various instructions teaches his students to get free from the material concept of life for instance in bhagavad gita we find krishna instructing arjuna to free him from the materialistic consider considerations can you read this one paragraph yes prabhu ji yeah one can understand that this body is matter it can be analyzed with its 24 elements the body is gross manifestation and subtle manifestation is a mind and the psychological effects and the symptom of life or interaction of this features but but over and above above this there is a soul and there is also super soul soul and super soul are two the material world is working by conjunction of soul and uh, 24 material elements one who can see the constitution of the world material manifestation as this combination of soul and the material elements and can also see the situation of the supreme soul become eligible for a transfer to the spiritual world these uh, things are meant for contemplation and for realization and one should have the complete understanding of this chapter with the help of spiritual master so whatever this knowledge that we are hearing right in this chapter we should contemplate on it what does contemplate means imagine up prabhu ji the contemplate means you think deeply into it the think deeply okay yeah you think deeply in it at various times on over a period of time you again okay. you know think about it you know what is this and wherever you see situations you have to see the soul the super soul how the body is working how the nature is working everything and then you realize this knowledge okay and spiritual master will definitely help he will give instructions okay. he will tell you know how in such situations things are happening okay okay so this knowledge is meant for realization and contemplation contemplation okay. this is philosophy so you have to contemplate and you have to see how to apply this philosophy in your day to day life okay okay so any questions or comments uh... no prabhu ji